más, es correcto, sí, porque yo sentía que la 3 estaba, con la, estaba más complicada, sí. más larga. Ah, uh, la ya está right. un poco más tranquilo. Ah, eso sí. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. I'm sorry, guys. I'm very sorry hello. about the situation. And, uh, I don't know if you can listen to me. No sé si me escuchan, chicos. You're welcome. Yeah. Yes. 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 I listen. Okay, so I will I will have my camera off because I really don't know. No sé si se internet or or is the app probably because I was I was speaking with you. Estaba hablando like normal, y de la nada I was out. So um, I really don't know what happened. Tindy está compartiendo pantalla. ¿Qué? Oh, yes. Tindy. No. Teacher. Teacher. ¿Quién está compartiendo pantalla ahorita? Cindy, Cindy sí. Romero. Ah, oh, ya, yeah, yeah. okay, no, okay. no, lo que pasa es que el, vaya, donde está en la parte de, en la parte final dice que tú debe ser que tú has terminado, ah, dice ha terminado, tú has terminado el, el curso y puedes ver certificado automáticamente con la firma del, del director de la, del, del, de la, del curso, ya, del ISAFOR y todo, pero sí lo no. puedes ver, uh -huh. o sea, ya, hay uno cuando no termina el, el, el examen. Hello, teacher. Hey, Hello. guys. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I really don't know what's going on. Hello. Someone that can help me. Alguien que sepa what's going on with uh, with Zoom right now. Alguien que sepa de Zoom uh, or que es lo que sucede, because that's weird. Se está super raro que de la nada it's okay and then se detiene like weird. I really don't know what's going on. But anyways, I do appreciate it. Um, Teacher, pero el, 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 el problema es, es con, con, con el suyo, porque este, cuando usted se, se desconecta o se le cae, todos quedamos siempre conectados. Yeah, that's weird. Sí, está como... Será está... su señal, ¿no? Sí, tiene que ser eso. But that's weird, because... Uh... Sí, porque todo, to, todos quedamos en la, en, en la reunión. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, está súper, súper raro, porque... Se supone que estoy conectado directamente desde el modem, so it's, it should be working fine, but I really don't know. So, but I do appreciate, guys. Thanks for being here. Gracias por, por quedarse siempre en la reunión. Uh, well, I already talked with the guys of administration to see if we can resolve something, para ver si podemos resolver algo. So, uh, I'm going to continue, guys. Vamos a continuar with what we're doing. So, uh, just going to show you some, some parts of the colors. Les voy a mostrar here some colors. All right. So I don't know if you can see the screen, but here, for example, we have, uh, can you see the screen, by the way? Oh, I guess we have some colors. And for example, the ones that we have here are the most basic ones, los más colores, los más básicos, okay? So for example, here we have uh, yellow. So right here, eh, the majority, la mayoría de personas cometemos el error cuando estamos aprendiendo inglés de decir yellow. Yellow. So, but in English, esta G no se pronuncia como Y, sino como so we say yellow, yellow, okay? So we say yellow, red, purple, green, brown, and black. So those are some examples of some colors that we have in the English language. And also I'm going to show you some others. Here we have a big list. Aquí tenemos una lista un poquito grande de los colores que hay veces we don't use, que en algunas ocasiones 
ni utilizamos. For example, uh, what we're going to do, lo que vamos a hacer acá is just a little bit on, converse, uh, on pronunciation. Humberto, you have your microphone on, so we can listen to everything. Oh, sorry. So uh, then, so we're going to focus more on the pronunciation. So I'm going to read them. Los voy a leer two times, dos veces cada uno, or three. And then I will ask you, les voy a preguntar to participate. So I will ask you to participate. So for example, beige is beige, you know? Lo mismo como le decimos en español. That's beige, black, blue, blue, brown, brown, chestnut, chestnut, fuchsia, fuchsia, o decimos fuchsia, ¿verdad? That's Spanish, so we say fuchsia, golden, golden, green, gray, gray, maroon, maroon, orange, orange, pink, pink, purple, purple, red, red, scarlet, scarlet, silver, silver, teal, teal, transparent, transparent, turquoise, turquoise, violet, violet, and white. Now, Sandra Molina, I will ask, I will ask you to read number one, number two, and number three. Black, blue. Thank you. Now, Oscar, number four, Black, five, and six. Blue. Okay. Uh, brown, chestnut, fuchsia. Good. Humberto, I will ask you to help me with number seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Golden, green, gray. Good. Thank you very much. Now, uh, let's see. Joel, I will ask you to help me with number 10, 11, and 12. Okay. Maroon. Maroon. Orange. Pink. Maroon. Mm -hmm. Orange. Pink. Pink. Okay. Adelia, I will ask you to Pink. help me Pink. with number 13, 14, and 15. Adelia? Boy. Uh, Red, mm -hmm. scarlet. Scarlet, okay. Marielos, I will ask your help with this one, this one, and this one. Silver, mm -hmm. teal. Okay. Uh, transparent. 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 Correct, thank you very much. And we're gonna go with Guadalupe Santos, the last three, los últimos tres. Turquoise, violet, white. Okay, this one is turquoise, turquoise. Turquoise. Well, turquoise, violet, and white. Violet mm -hmm. and white. Good. Thank you very much. 
Now, that's a list of some colors that sometimes we don't use. For example, uh, this one that is verde azulado, it's really weird. Es bastante raro que se, se utilice, but there's a possibility, siempre existe la posibilidad that probably you will have or you will ask for that color. Probablemente en algún momento vaya a necesitar ese color, so it will be okay for you to know how to say those things. Now, here we have uh, some others, otra lista de colores que no son muy comunes, but sometimes it's also important that you know how to say those things. One thing, guys, para decir celeste, tenemos varias formas de decir celeste. For example, podemos decir light blue, baby blue, sky blue. So those are the three forms, tres formas de decir celeste. Now, we have blue and we have dark blue, so that we already know that. Light green, green, or dark green. Those are colors that are pretty basic, let's say. So once again, what I'm gonna do here is that I'm going to read each color. So you try to practice, tratan de practicarlo ahí en su, donde están, sin necesidad de encender el microphone. So I'm going to repeat it twice. Whole black, whole black, jet black, jet black, peach black, peach black, baby blue, baby blue, sky blue, sky blue, deep blue, deep blue, let me just, let me just check, okay. Now, uh, navy blue, navy blue, Royal blue, bottle green, bottle green, emerald green, emerald green, grass green, grass green, jade green, jade green, lime green, olive green, olive green, Blood red, blood red, brick red, brick red, cherry red, cherry red, dusky red, dusky red, lila white, lila white, off white, off white, snow white, snow white, canary yellow, canary yellow. Now, let's start with you, Jacqueline, number one, two, and three. Cool black. Cold, cold. Cold, cold black. Cold black. Jet black, pitch black. Excellent, thank you very much. Now we're gonna go with Cindy. Yes, you have a question? Bay blue, mm -hmm. it's, it's key blue. Sky blue. Sky blue, deep blue. Deep blue, thank you very much. Deep blue. Mm -hmm. Jessica, I will ask for your help, Jessica. We start from here. This Navy. one, this one, and this one. Okay. Navy blue, royal blue, bottle green. Thank you very much. Now we move on with Benjamin. Okay. Uh, good evening, teacher. Okay. Good evening. Emerald, uh, emerald green, grass green. J the green. Okay, good. Thank you. Now we're gonna move on with Natalie. Hello. 
lime green. Mm -hmm. Olive, olive green. Okay. Blue green, blue red. Thank you so much, Katie. Katie, are you there? Well, she's probably not there. So I will ask Carlos Rodriguez. Yes, brick red, mm -hmm. cherry red, mm -hmm. dusky red. Thank you very much, Edwin Polanco. Lily white. Lila white. Of white. Mm -hmm. Snow white. Snow white. And the last one? Permite que no la miro. Sorry. You no se ven las últimas dos. Ajá, eso no se mira. Okay, so the last one is canary yellow. Canary yellow. Okay, good. Now, guys, uh, I know that's a lot. Sí, entiendo que es bastante, and there are some things, hay algunos colores that probably are not that common, que no son tan comunes, but it's important, let's say, es importante que sepamos al menos la idea de how, what they mean, del significado, or because, for example, sometimes, más de alguna vez, you will have the opportunity Travel, probablemente alguien de ustedes vaya a tener la oportunidad de viajar, I don't know, or to work in something related to English, o trabajar a algo relacionado en inglés. So knowing those things are, is going to help you, of course, to, you know, to speak with some people who are native of the language. So uh, we're going to go to the practice. Nos vamos a ir a una práctica algo rapidita. So in here... Uh, this is a conversation. Es una conversación. So, uh, vamos a trabajar en grupos. Para que todos participen, lo vamos a hacer de la siguiente manera. One person read one line, another person reads another line, another person another line, and so on, and so on, and so on, until you finish the conversation. Hasta que se termine la conversación. So, please, go ahead. Yes. Adelia, I saw that you were saying that I, if I can send you the colors. Si ustedes quieren, chicos, les puedo enviar esta presentación through what, uh, por WhatsApp para que puedan tener eh, toda la lista de colores, if you want to. But if you don't, that's okay. So uh, please go ahead and take a screenshot of this part. Si pueden tomar captura para que puedan tenerla. And I'm going to move on. Okay, Marielos, I will send it. All right, so se las voy a enviar por, uh, por WhatsApp, okay? So. Thank you. All right, so if ya le tomaron captura a esta, I'm going to move on to the next one. Voy a mover a la siguiente. This is another small conversation. And this is the last thing, another thing that we're going to do. What you're going to do here, lo que van a hacer acá, es solamente unir from the right to the left, or from the left to the right, either or. Right, right now. Yeah, right now. Uh, teacher, puede poner la anterior, por favor. Gracias. Okay, this is this one. And we're just gonna have, solo vamos a tener 10 minutos de esto and then I will leave you. Los voy a dejar que se vayan. So I appreciate, aprecio que se hayan quedado after the technical issues that we had. Now we're gonna go with this one y esta va a ser la última in case, en caso que no la logren terminar, lo que no logren terminar será tarea. Okay, that's what we're gonna do.
So another thing, guys, otra cosa, quiero felicitarlos a todos en general por su responsabilidad. Han sido un grupo bastante responsable. Todas las personas siempre envían sus tareas a tiempo. Todas las personas participan. This is a very nice group. Es un grupo bastante activo y la mayoría de ustedes son bastante responsables. So I appreciate that. Eh, aprecio que sean así. Es parte también de ser un buen estudiante. So do not change that. ¿sí? No hay que cambiar eso. So congratulations to you all. Sí, espero que sigamos trabajando así. Y si en algún momento logramos volver a tener clases, it's going to be a pleasure for me to be with you. So let's, let's go, guys. Okay. Go ahead, please. What happened, Joel? Uh, no logro entrar en la reunión. Really? So, let me just change. Vamos a cambiar for room number one, and we're going to move Chinatown to room number two.
Okay, guys, we're just going to wait for the others to come back to the main session. So did you complete the exercises? Were you able to finish? Si lograron terminar? Only two. Only two. Okay, what about the others? Que de los demás? Um, sorry, teacher, I, 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 could, I couldn't finish it, uh, uh, finish it, but uh, I, I said, uh, no sé si lo podemos enviar a, a su correo más tarde o, o a WhatsApp lo que hicimos. O... Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's not necessary to send it right now, but if you want to send it right, uh, like after the class, that will be up to you, but you can do it for tomorrow. I will give you till tomorrow to send it if you didn't finish or lo que trabajaron or you can do the other exercises for tomorrow, okay? Para mañana. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. So, so remember that that's gonna be uh, for tomorrow. Also, do not forget to study the tongue twister. No olvidemos eh, estudiar el trabalengua just to practice, okay? Es más para practicar. Practice, practice, and practice, okay? That's basically what we're looking for, lo que estamos buscando. So once again, guys, thank you so, so much for your commitment. Muchas gracias por su, eh, por su desempeño, eh, que siempre están ahí participando, por su compromiso, for your commitment. Thank you so much for that. Do not, uh, do not change that part of you, okay? Thank you so much for that, guys. That's going to be pretty much all for today. Uh, so I will see you tomorrow at the same time by the same channel, okay? Have a good night, guys. Okay. Good night. Good night, good night everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Gracias.